What is going on? I want to welcome you from F4 for today. I am Sean Murphy and I want to talk some more NBA basketball, man, starting right now because it is the NBA season and I am just hungry to cover some hoops, man. And today I want to talk James Harden and the Philadelphia 76ers and what they're going to be doing this upcoming season specifically because I think James Harden is unequivocally the X factor for what they can be, where they can go, how far they can take them because J Joel Embiid, we already know what he is, right? He is an MVP level player when he is healthy, when he is on the court. He's just needed the guy along him that can help take the Philadelphia 76ers over the top into the promised land. Ben Simmons was a great player on the defensive end. He could do a lot of things as a playmaker. The truth is he's just not a number two on a championship team. They go and trade and get James Harden, hoping that they're getting that MVP caliber player, that James Harden that we've seen in the past, the guy that at his peak in Houston was averaging 34 points a game and was going off and doing and was just simply unstoppable. But even if James Harden was the guy that originally showed up in Brooklyn, who was motivated, who was excited to be there, who looked relatively in shape, who was playing at a MVP caliber level and was carrying that team through when Kevin Durant was out due to injury. If that guy showed up, that Philadelphia 76ers team could have potentially gone to the finals last year. But the guy that showed up was not that guy at all. In fact, it was the worst James Harden efficiency-wise that we've seen since his rookie season. I mean, James Harden was shooting 40% from the field. He wasn't able to create separation as far as getting to the rim. He was still a good scorer, and he was like an all-star caliber shooting guard. But when James Harden isn't that guy, when he isn't the MVP that you traded for, you're just simply not the contender that you're hoping that you want to be. I mean, because the simple truth of the fact is, if James Harden is at his peak self, if he is at his conditioned self, which it seems like going into this year, He's saying that this is the best condition he's been in in five years, that he's put in a lot of work, he's really motivated, he feels healthy, that he's put a lot of work into his body this offseason, which, quite frankly, thank God. I mean, listen, man, I, like, I, at the end of the day, like as much as I want to criticize a guy who's an athlete, like your job's to be in condition. Like, first of all, I can't talk. Like, look at me. Like, I, I'm not an athlete at all. Like, that's not my job at all. But... The thing is, is that like you want to see a guy at his best. You want to see James Harden at his peak level because that is when you can truly have conversations about where guys truly rank, where guys are really at, what they are in the relativity of the basketball world, right? And so now with James Harden showing up seemingly motivated, seemingly happy to be there, Seeming to be a guy that wants to play for the team, do what's best for the team, not only showing that with his play, but like showing that, like showing that with his words, but also with his actions. I mean, over this offseason, he did cut his salary back. He's still getting paid a crap ton, don't get me wrong, but he did take a salary cut so that they could go and address some of the needs that were created by the James Harden trade. They were able to go get PJ Tucker, who is a an excellent get for the Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, that's exactly what they needed. They needed a guy with toughness, with intensity, a guy who comes in and is the loudest guy in the gym, who barks and plays with with no fear because at a, a lot of times in the fourth quarter, it just seems like this Philadelphia 76ers team would fold. I mean, they folded in that Miami series last year. This team just wasn't tough. And now they went and got guys who are really freaking tough. And also a guy who can hit corner threes. And so if James Harden can create separation, actually get guys the ball in transition, actually drive to the hoop and, and successfully create shots for others and actually get open threes for the 76ers team. Now, granted, they could still use some more shooting. They could probably use some more wing depth, but literally what contender couldn't, right? So they're going to go address that. That's something that they're going to do this, you know, during the trade deadline, they're going to be one of the most active teams. They have Daryl Morey. He's a wizard when it comes to making trades. He will figure something out. But the big key is Joel Embiid needs to be healthy and James Harden needs to be MVP James Harden. And if he is, they will definitely make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Anything beyond that is up to them because from there, 
That's that. That's where the all bets are off. That's where you have to face a guy like Giannis onto the Kumbo. And if James Harden can play at that MVP caliber level and still be in condition at that point in the season, they have a chance. But that's been the problem. James Harden hasn't come in in the best shape. He's he's played amazing regular seasons, put up incredible campaigns. And then in the playoffs, he's ran out of gas. They're double and triple teaming him because the guy simply can't outrun him. He's playing elevated minutes. It's the end of the year. He's he's literally carried his Rockets teams to the playoffs at that point. Like it was just hardened hero ball for the most of his prime. And now he doesn't have to do that anymore. But he does have to finally be in shape. These these health issues need to stop. These lingering hamstring issues need to end because those only happen when you're not taking care of your body. And so if that's indeed the case, the Philadelphia 76ers have a really talented roster. I mean, you throw in Tyrese Maxey and James Harden, you have Ty- you have uh, you you have say what you will about my boy Tobias Harris. He might have one of the worst max contracts in the NBA, but he is a good player to have in your starting lineup and throw him P.J. Tucker and Joel Embiid, that's your starting five? I like that lineup. With that, what are your thoughts on the Philadelphia 76ers? What do you think of James Harden this season? Will he finally be in shape come playoff time? Is he finally going to deliver in the playoffs? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below, but that is going to do it here, folks. If you like NBA and Pistons content. We do both here, but we are an NBA channel. So be sure you subscribe down below. But with that, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We will catch you guys next time from Half Court. Be sure you subscribe.